We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope everybody's doing good today. Make sure you guys have your teacups ready. Get ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get oh, ready. Because this tea is what? Piping hot. Meet me at the altar in your white dress. We ain't getting no younger. We might as well do this. Been feeling you all the while, girl, I must confess. Let's get married. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, hope y'all don't mind me singing, honey. When I think about all of this Cardi B and Offset announcement, it makes me think of that song, Let's Get Married. That's one of my favorite songs. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing good today. Welcome, welcome. Grab your teacups. Let's go ahead and get this damn discussion popping, okay? Say about their mama been wanting to know my opinion on the whole offset, basically proposing to Cardi B this weekend. So unless you've been living under a rock, if you guys do not know, Offset from the Migos got down on one knee on stage in Philly and basically proposed to Cardi B. And she said, yes, bitch, yes. Go ahead and check out the video right here, and I'm going to come back. You guys saw Cardi B showing off that huge ring. Some folks are saying it's a bit too big and gaudy, but you know what? Whatever. It is what it is. So now not everybody's amused about Offset proposing. Supposedly, Offset's baby mama went off on social media, and she was not feeling it, and she also said that Cardi B has never met her son, and she's not understanding that. For those of you guys who don't know, Offset does have a little boy. Um, some people said that he has three kids, but I've only been able to at least verify one child, okay? So I want you guys to go ahead and check the video of Offset's son, and check out the video of Offset's baby mama and what she had to say. Check this out, and I'm gonna come back. Not crazy enough, if you guys do not know, BET and Mona Scott Young are currently fighting over who can do the special for Offset and Cardi B. This whole situation is a hot damn mess. So what happened is that basically the Shade Room, they took a screen capture. Um, there was a Twitter user who had posted that basically Offset and Cardi B just got engaged. On God, if they don't have a TV special for the wedding called Never Let Me Go, I'm gonna be pissed. And a lot of people retweeted that. A lot of people agree with that. They're like, that's a bomb-ass title. If Gucci Man and Keisha Kai Orr can have their own wedding, why can't Cardi B? So then, then what happened is that the official BT Twitter account replied to the posting saying, hashtag we got you when you're ready, tagging both Offset and Cardi B, offering them a spot on BET. However, they now have some competition because Mona Scott from Mona Me Entertainment, she basically jumped on Twitter and she says, love y'all BET, but we got this. Hashtag another check for Mona Scott at VH1 forever. Now, most likely Mona Scott is a few steps ahead of BET because of we all know Cardi B got her start on Love and Hip Hop New York. So it's going to be really interesting to see if they end up getting a wedding special behind this. This entire situation to me is a hot damn mess. I really wish that BET and Mona Scott would fight over after school special. Basically showing folks in the community who are going out their way to improve the lives of young children. But again, that's just me and my wishful thinking. We know that BET and Mona Scott would never perpetuate that now, would they? Okay. So now, if that's not crazy enough, Wendy Williams also had a lot to say about the situation. Basically, Wendy Williams feels like Cardi B should not get married to him. She feels like Offset is the Kelly Rowland of Migos, because we all know, honey, Quavo is the Beyonce. Folks have been calling him the Beyonce of Migos. And the other one, I think it's Takeoff. I'm not really sure what Takeoff does besides add a few ad-libs, okay? But he's getting that money, so I'm not mad at him. He still gets a check, just like poor Michelle still got a damn check, okay? So anyhow, this is what Wendy Williams had to say. Go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. And this is her time right now. The Migos are doing real. All right, so you guys just saw what Wendy Williams had to say about the entire situation. Cardi B has not responded. Some folks are saying that Wendy is hating. She needs to have a tall glass to shut the fuck up. But in my personal opinion, Wendy is definitely entitled to her opinion, and I definitely see where she's coming from. Like, let's keep it real. Even though Migos is a very popular group, Offset was definitely not as popular as Quavo, okay? It was all about Quavo a year ago. But ever since Offset has gotten with Cardi B, his stock has gone up. He's not stupid. He knows that she just signed a solid deal. I'm hearing that she signed with Sony, possibly. She has the number one song. She's getting all types of deals left and right. He's definitely seeing dollar signs, and he's not about to let that slip away. You know, and this new generation, especially the social media generation, they really have a big affinity for Cardi B and 
Offset. I remember they broke up the other day for like 24 hours and social media went crazy. Then they got back together. They do put a lot of their relationship on social media. But the one thing that does kind of have me kind of worried is the fact that she hasn't met his son. And how can you be engaged to somebody or want to marry somebody after eight months if they've never met your child? I mean, before you get married to somebody, you want to make sure that there's that connection and that they can be a good mother to your child. So hopefully that will change soon. And hopefully Cardi B will get a chance to meet his baby's mother and the child and they can, you know, work something out if that's who he wants to be with. Now, this relationship is new. They've only been together for eight months but honey I guess in 2017 this is the new power couple they will soon replace Jay-Z and Beyonce you know what I'm saying they have a very open honest relationship they're very relatable to this young generation so I guess this is a new template for black love they are the new royal couple of Hollywood there'll be a wedding special and of course it's going to be star studded it's going to be a ratings gold and like I said they're going to be this generation's Jay-Z and Beyonce from the look of it the way people were so happy and the way folks went so crazy on social media go ahead and check out these tweets these comments and what folks had to say once everybody saw offset proposing to cardi b check this out All right, so you guys just saw everybody's comments and what they had to say. So this entire situation is very interesting. You know, I'm always happy to see anybody, you know, get engaged and, you know, walk down the aisle and stuff like that. So hopefully it won't just be one of these long engagements. Hopefully they will eventually walk down the aisle. But I would suggest that they get counseling and that they truly know each other. Because right now, this is the honeymoon phase. They've only been together eight months. You know what I'm saying? So right now, there's a lot of love and feelings and stuff like that. But they need to make sure that they're not just getting married because they want to, you know, help their careers or become trending. Marriage is a commitment before God and they both need to take it seriously. I would advise, especially being that they're both really young, to go and get marriage counseling and make sure that you guys are genuinely fit for each other because marriage is not a joke and you don't want to get married only to be divorced in a few years. So either way, I wish them the best. Let's go ahead and get the discussion pop. What do you guys think about this engagement? Do you feel like it's genuine or do you feel like they're just doing this to get a TV show or for them to trend? And then what do you guys think about what Wendy Williams had to say? Do you agree with her or do you feel like she's so-called hating? And then how do you feel about what his baby's mother had to say about how she's never met Cardi B and Cardi B has never met their son? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you click that bell so you can be down with the notification squad honey so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces hey you guys it's your girl t make sure to subscribe like and share my videos you can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise also don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos Talk to y'all later. Deuces.